Hey everybody, it's Ryan from Level Up Tactical here today with an instructional video on how to take your high capacity magazines uh, and make them state specific uh, compliant. So in this particular case, the state's requiring a, uh, all magazines to be no more than 10 rounds or hold no more than 10 rounds. Uh, today we're gonna be using as an example, the Sig Sauer P320 magazine, uh, which is uh, uh, I believe the ones we're showing here are 13 rounds and they need to be blocked down and, and made 10 round compliant. The process is very simple. It's not as hard as you think it is. And, and the amount of money you can save by doing it yourself uh, and making yourself compliant is, is astronomical. Um, just, you know, for argument's sake, if you took, you know, 10 magazines at $35 a pop, you, you know, that's, that's a substantial amount of money. But you could take the same 10 magazines a half an hour to 40 minutes out of your life and convert each magazine to be compliant for roughly $6 or $6.50 per mag. So let's get started. Okay, everybody, let's get started. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is converting a 15-round 9mm P320 magazine and making it 10-round compliant. Um, you can see here, uh, this is a standard 15-round uh, Sig Sauer P320 magazine. This is the Maglock 10-round uh, limiter, uh, which installs into the magazine. It's polymer. It's really nice, uh, real simple to do. You can see here we're going to take, uh, our first step is a pen, and we're going to push in the button on the bottom of the magazine, sliding the base plate off. The spring at that point will pop out. You don't have to take it all the way out. You're going to take your magazine block, and you're going to put it into the same orientation on the slant as your magazine. It basically just slides right in underneath the, the base plate, you can see here how I did it there. You can see how it just slides right in. Follows the same angle as the magazine. You can push it in a little bit if you like to make sure that it fits in there. Um, but basically you push it in and you slide the base plate back on. You hear it snap back into place and there you are. You now have a 10 round compliant magazine. Now if you happen to live in a state where uh, they actually require you to um, permanently affix the base plate in or epoxy it in, uh, it's very simple. Basically, you follow the same steps in the beginning, uh, but before you um, install the base plate, the, the slide-on base plate, you can take an epoxy, Magblox also sells that, and basically squirt the epoxy into the, the channels on the uh, magazine base, uh, into the, the grooves there, and, and basically squirt it all over the bottom. You wanna make a, a nice, uh, nice seal. Uh, you know, you could, I mean, you don't want to put too much because you don't want it to squirt out the sides uh, like you'll see uh, later. But, uh, you know, you put a decent amount on. Basically slide the uh, spring pack back into the magazine. Take the base plate, slide it back on, and uh, it'll snap. Now you can see here you get a little bit of seepage, a little oozing. Just wipe it off. Uh, this epoxy will set in about um, two minutes. So there's a little bit of a two-minute work time uh, with a full cure after 10 hours. But... Uh, you know, it, it's black, so you wipe it off real good with a paper towel or a rag if you have one. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, the magazine, is uh, once it's dried, will be state compliant. It is a permanently uh, modified magazine at this point. It can only hold 10 rounds uh, on, the, on this particular 15-round magazine. Okay, so here we are uh, now. We have the 15-round uh, magazine that we've modified to be 10 rounds. It's the same Sig Sauer magazine for the P320 that we were working on before. I have 11 rounds here on the table, and I'm going to load the 10 rounds and see if I can get an 11th round in. Um, saving some money by doing it yourself is a great way to do it. Um, there's plenty of things you could spend your money on other than uh, updating your magazines. So here we have 10 rounds in. This is the 11th round, and uh, you can see I can't get it in with the Maglula lo loader. Uh, I, I can't really even press the 10th uh, round down to get anything else in. Uh, so, you know, for, for $6 and six six fifty dollars roughly, um, you can update all your magazine, your each magazine you have and save yourself a ton of money and be state compliant. So there you have it, folks. The Magazine Blocks P320 uh, insert uh, to uh, limit your magazines from 15 to 10 rounds to be state compliant. Uh, check them out at magazineblocks.com. And uh, don't forget to like our YouTube page here and uh, subscribe to us and like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash level up tactical. 
And don't forget to check us out at our webpage at www.leveluptactical.com. Thank <laughs> you.